Go into the pictures, see the late, late show. You're told that you're a fire risk, so the wheelchair has to go. You're in your seat, you turn around, you wave your wheels goodbye. You don't need many guesses who's gonna be the first to fry. But if you try to argue, that's my legs you're taking away. You can guarantee there'll always be somebody there who'll say, you got a chip on your shoulder, got a really bad attitude. Is it any wonder people treat you the way they do? You really should be grateful for all we do for you. We're a quiet little crip without a chip. Ian Stanton's songs never fail to hit the spot when it comes to disability culture, and he regularly goes down a storm at disability arts cabarets. His day job is with the Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People. The disability arts movement and the disabled people's movement, I suppose, are are central to my life, really, and I, I, I work, one's my work, I suppose, and, and one's me, me pleasure and me relaxation, and, and they both cross over, really. I don't really look on the work that I do as a, a chore. It's, it's something that I, I, um, uh, I, I actually enjoy doing. Hello, I'm your key worker, and I'm here to welcome you. There's lots of craft activities that you might like to choose Stuff that every 40 year old man has always wanted to do Like basket weaving, pottery wheels and knitting and sewing too At the Glee Club, the Glee Club It really is the centre of our day It's the Glee Club, the Glee Club I wish someone would blow it clean away The day centre that I went to, I should say, when I first went there, it was a very traditional kind of uh, day centre where the, the centre manager, you, you actually have to refer to him as a Mr. such a thing. Everybody, everybody, we all got called by our first names, but you had to refer to the staff as Misters, and they all had badges and to show that they were important and things like that, you know. And I'm the centre manager, and I hope you'll think I'm fair. If you ever have a problem, I hope you'll know I'm there. I'm always so approachable as long as you call me sir. My door is always open but not quite wide enough for your chair. It's the Glee Club, the Glee Club. It really is the centre of our day. It's the Glee Club, the Glee Club. I wish someone would blow it clean away. There was a group of us who sort of got it, got, got slowly got involved in the disabled people's movement, or just on the edges, and started to. Um, to turn things around a bit. Uh, and it was a, at a time when there was a, a bit of goodwill within the social services department, local social services department, to, to be seen as progressive. So uh, we managed to turn the, uh, the day centre around a little bit to, uh, uh, towards user control. And by the time we finished, we, we, there were uh, uh, interview panels made up of, uh, of, of centre users. And I'm the transport driver, I'm a bit of a comic too. And it's sad that you're in a wheelchair, but at least you save on shoes. Me bread van has a tail lift, it's been tailor made for you. Your wheels are wedged right on the edge, so isn't this fun to do? It's the Glee Club, the Glee Club. It really is the centre of our day. It's the Glee Club, the Glee Club. I wish someone would blow it clean away. I started a, a newsletter while I was there, and it, it, in, it, in the early days, it, it was very unwelcome because we used to send a copy to the local paper, and so there was every time that our newsletter came out, there was a scandal in the local paper about things that were happening at the day centre, you know, injustices that were happening at the day centre. Um, but gradually, um, it became accepted and respected, and, and uh, I actually got a full-time job, mainly on, on, on the basis that I could produce a newsletter, I suppose, really. Ian is the editor of Coalition, the Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People's quarterly publication. The Coalition News as a magazine exists really to provide a, a platform for people to have debates and to analyse issues and, to, and for people within the movement to talk amongst ourselves. There aren't that many places that that provide that kind of space for people to have debates um, and it's important that, that 
that we, 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 we're able to talk amongst ourselves and decide what we think, you know, um, before we, we, in order to present a, a united front, I suppose, when, when we're going out and campaigning and, and uh, demanding our rights, really. It happened on Friday night while I was out having fun. When I came home, it was nearly light By the moonlight, she had gone Well, a note said thanks for nothing But it's time that I moved on You never noticed me while I was here So you won't notice now I'm gone Well, it's a bloody funny way To leave someone you love it's a bloody funny way to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. A lot of the songs that I, that I write are about romance, um, uh, but uh, I've had sort of very few romances, if you like, along the way. But the the, the ones that, that I've had have either made a mark. Some of the some of the songs that I write aren't about me. They're about they're about people that, that I know. The stories about um, uh, friends of mine or or, or or people that I've met along the way. Really, it's uh, you. Uh, if you try to rely, I think entirely on totally personal experience for all your songs and you very quickly run dry. When it seems life's getting harder I remember Douglas Bader cause that's what my doctor said to do Said overcome those negative feelings you will find yourself revealing sides of you you never even knew Yes and I will smile and nod and smile and I'll be happy all the while you might think that I am a hero too I'm Gonna buy a picture of Douglas Bader Stick it on a dartboard in my yard Throw darts at it Till I can smile anew When I first lost my legs, Douglas Bader um, really haunted me. I mean, uh, everyone in the world seemed to say to me, remember Douglas Bader as though um, and I, as though I should want to be like him, and I, and I, it was funny because he was my dad's hero. My dad was in the RAF when it, during the war, he, um, and he, he thought Douglas Bard was wonderful. And we used to watch Reach for the Sky every time it was on telly, you know. Um, and uh, I used to think he was great until I found myself in the position where uh, I'd lost both my legs and, and I, I was expected to, to go out and be a hero. I mean, I still wake up in the middle of the night sometimes with this overwhelming urge to go out and play a spitfire, you know. It's, um, it, it can have a devastating effect on one's life, this kind of thing. When it seems life's getting tougher, I become a victim and a sufferer. I know because my local paper says it's true. Crippled man of 41, that's the headline I become with a tragic smiling picture in there too. Yes, and I will smile and nod and smile, and I'll be happy all the while. Finally, I've found a claim to fame. I am sad, yes, I'm pathetic. I'm a fan of old and athletic. There's 15,000 out there just the same. The Tragic But Brave show uh, did a, a show in Oxford, which was Douglas Bader's hometown not long ago. And uh, we all do bits and pieces of jokes about Douglas Bader and this sort of pressure that there is on disabled people to emulate other heroic disabled people. Um, and uh, we all do bits of routines and send-ups of Douglas Bader. And uh, apparently they have a, a phone-in on, on the same radio station that's an hour long, and they had an, a, a full show that was devoted to phone calls complaining about the things that we'd said about Douglas Bader, um, saying, that, how dare you say that about, you know, a local hero? I mean, so it, it sort of occurred to me that someone out there is picking our heroes for us, you know, and they're, they're, they're certainly not the kind of people that we'd pick as heroes, really, you know. 
I got a foot fetish You think that that means anything I got a foot fetish You think that that means anything I got a digital fixation Thinking pinkies is my thing When I'm a rolling down the street I'm looking at some feet A row of painted toenails Gonna make my day complete I got a foot fetish Sweet or sweaty, I don't care I got a foot fetish Perfume or smelly, I don't care We're clad in satin or in nylon But most especially when they're bare what I'm doing really is poking fun at the charities that sort of study your impairment and sort of um, the idea of someone with no legs having a foot fetish would really give them sort of food and drink for months and they'd probably write whole theses on the thing, you know, presuming it was some sort of deep-rooted psychological reason, you know. I don't have a foot fetish, it was just to, uh, it was just to confuse them, really. Well, I could fall for fallen arches, I'm a pig for pigeon toes. Who needs all the readers when some feeding in your nose? I got a foot fetish. My analyst said he's never heard crazy thing like this before. But some bad from Spider told me. And in fact, it's been consenting adult it's acceptable to both partners could never be considered to be any more than I could be considered to be absurd. My favourite song is probably the Incredible Shrinking Man. It was, it was one of the first songs that I ever wrote, and it, it's probably one of the most personal songs that I'll ever write as well, really, I think. It says a, a lot in a very subtle way, I suppose. The, 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 there's this constant cloud that hangs over disabled people who are uh, living independently in the community, and, and you know, you, there's always a, 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 um, a tightrope that you walk where if uh, maybe a member of your family or a friend who's been supporting you is no longer there, or if, if your income is no longer there. There's always this line that you walk where you, you might finish up in an institution, it's like a big dark cloud that hangs over, over disabled people. And um, uh, uh, the incredible shrinking man probably um, states that quite well. Cozy little doll's house not for everyone Just a chosen few Someone thinks they found you A place where you belong That's their point of view Just fade away in time Simply disappear Mind screams for somewhere else, but your body's chained, your body's chained, your body's chained to him. Takes a toll on spirit and soul when you know you understand the incredible shrinking, the incredible shrinking. The incredible shrinking man I can talk to you You understand I can talk to you You understand Knew I could talk to you 